Oh, okay. Let's grab it this time. I don't do 120 because I think it's boring that all the fights just come down to spamming the knife. Not easier. I don't necessarily think it's easier to do 120. I just don't think it's as interesting. So, you know, don't let someone say 120 is easier. I don't think 120 is easier. I think they're the same. Just different strats. I like variety though. Yeah, like, but I do other strats, not just knife. 120 is almost just knife. Knife should be banned. Well, how do you do a scenario then, Pharaoh? How do you uh, get out of the main hall when Marvin gives you the knife? You know, then you're going to be like, oh, okay, well, except for that. And then people are like, well, then that's not really no knife, blah, blah, blah. You know, it gets, like, really stupid. No knife speed run. Get to the part where you have to use a knife and then stop the timer. Watch this sick dodge here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you use the knife and then you have to discard it. But then that gets like weird. Like people are like, oh my god, I want a meme. What if I don't want to discard it? What if I want to just put it in my stash? You know, it's like, oh my god. Well, you can make whatever category with whatever rules you want, Pharaoh. That's fine. The SRT, though, you can't prove that someone's not using it. So, unfortunately, that thing's here to stay forever. Like, Blue Harvey, imagine if you had something like that for FF12. And you could just always get the, like, perfect RNG minute for every chest. Get the meme bow. You know? That's the same thing. And that's why it's not allowed. Yeah, it'll tell you exactly what, like, where you, I don't know, yeah. Well, I bring up this argument, and it may sound like, oh, now you're just exaggerating, but think about this. If we can use programs to read memory, and they're allowed, why stop with uh, looking at their health values? Why don't we look at all the locations of enemies in every room? So we know, oh, there's an enemy over there, or, you know, whatever get all that information too that's like full-on cheating but yeah it's the same principle okay I grab the herb and then I discard well no that's actually modifying the game's memory we're just reading the memory that's different but there's so many things that give you an advantage just by looking at the memory, the things that are like hidden behind the scenes. Well, just remember, Blue Harvey, if he's chasing after you from behind and he's going to do that swipe, <laughs> right before he swipes, just step backwards for a second and then step forward and you dodge it every time. Every time it works. But he has to be behind you. The first part works. But yeah, like I say, you can't ban the SRT now because you, you can say, oh, okay, you can't use the SRT. People are like, okay, and then they use it anyways and just don't show it. Like, how do you, how do you prove they're not using it, you know? Like, it's too late now. You have to allow it. And they could just say they're not using it and still use it, so you might as well just allow it. 
because you can't really prove they're not. You can kind of prove, like, like games that don't allow turbo. You can kind of prove someone's using turbo, kind of, and other things, but you can't prove this one. And some people think it's okay. I don't know. Whatever. Show the task manager. Yeah, right. Or we just only allow console runs. How about that? That's the only way. Console is the most fair route or run. What if that actually becomes a thing? PS4 Pro speed runs are the main category. That can sort of be a thing. Except controller, otherwise I'd be for it. I would love that if all the best runners just went to a console and didn't play this on PC because of all the memes. There you are. I can get to this door. What I'm saying, Pharaoh, is console can't use SRT like PC can. And so, you know. You got at least that taken care of. Or maybe they can use SRT. Maybe someone's gonna write, like, hack a PS4 or Xbox and then write a program for it. I don't know. See? Good thing I grabbed that herb. Otherwise that would have been a reset. Nice. And also, Pharaoh, on console, the knife is pretty weak, so... It may not be in your best interest to even use the knife, even on Birkin 1. Like 60, 60 is cutting it super close to killing him without him uh, hitting you. Like you have to use your handgun. If you go below 60, that knife's definitely not going to cut it and you're going to have to throw in a second grenade or something. And then it becomes less about the knife and more about the hey. grenade. Y a yeah, the knife damage is based on the frame rate and consoles have a lot of trouble getting 60 FPS. So I can tell you right now, if I had the SRT running, I could have done that fight even better. I would have seen the durability of my knife to time the uh, the, sh or the handgun to not Alors, use as many shots and then the knife would have killed him. I don't know, speedrun tool, speedrun timer, or something like that. And obviously I could just use it since everyone else is using it. And be on the same like level playing field, but it just it goes against the spirit of uh, of doing this, you know, speedrunning games, in my opinion. Part of the part of the fun of this stuff is like to just turn on the game and play without like anything else. 
What's up, Dream Boom? How is the French voice acting in this game as a native uh, French speaker? Okay. I like the sound of their voices, but I have no idea if they're actually doing it well or not. I like Claire's voice. Wait, what? That's different. She sounds good. Oh, cool. That's not, say, world record when the game is less than, like, a month old. It's too early to call anything a world record. Waited too long there. He may get me here. Oh, he missed. He sucks. He actually sucks. Yeah. Run this at a GDQ and you're like, well, my SRT. I can't. I don't. How? Help. Like, I have to play this with two monitors, uh, GDQ staff. I have to see this program running. Don't worry, it's not a virus. It's just a program that lets me cheat so I can actually play this game. Please accept my run. I love it. I love the memes. That's the best part of this game is all the memes that it brought. And I don't know, maybe these memes have like always been a thing in the other RE games and I just avoided those games so I didn't know about this stuff. Yes, this is an ethical speed run. What's ethical about going hardcore? What do you mean? That's not the ethical part. Nice. I don't know about that position he's in though. Mean grab. I will not like RE One remake because of the uh, the camera. The camera is the worst thing in video games, and that's why I've avoided all the older Resident Evil games, purely because of the camera. I don't know who thought that camera was ever a good idea. I tried. Japanese RE4, where you control Ashley with the old school Resident Evil camera, and I hated every second of it. Even though I learned how to do it, I still hated everything. How can you make this a category? You can't prove someone's not using the SRT, other than console. What if the uh, GDQ computers aren't strong enough to get 120 FPS? Putain. Uh oh. I knew it. Hexcon gave it to me. That was nice of him to just kind of like watch me. This is why, Pharaoh, I think. It'd be better to just do challenge runs of this game than speed runs of this game. Because challenge runs are your own thing, you do whatever you want. You're not competing against anyone but yourself to beat the run. So, you know, you do it how you want.
Do like a no hit run of this game or something. Yeah, and there's a lot of memes in this game. It's fun to route though. Would you ever consider no hit runs? Uh oh. Don't give it to me. Don't give it to me. Okay. No hit runs are very popular on Twitch. Like with no hit run, you make your own rules. Because no hit runners make rules for like Dark Souls. Like no shields allowed and stuff like that. Which is pretty nice. I'm talking like no saves either. I don't think anyone's done that yet. And no hit means no hit, like no grabs or anything. Speedrunners love to meme about no hit runs. I think they're cool. I like I like watching them. Like I like speedruns and I like no hit runs. Feels like there's a like a divide. Nah, he's been doing a lot of saves. I watch like anytime I've watched his stream when he does it, he's always loading saves and stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. Now he's doing no damage, that's different. No damage and no hit is not the same thing. But like the ultimate goal would be to go through all four scenarios on hardcore without, you know, taking any damage in one sitting. Or, you know, multiple sittings, but you know, if you get hit by any of them, you start over. Take like five hours to get through probably. For S plus, it's two and a half hours on A scenario, two hours on B scenario. I mean, you'd mostly be doing a speed run, just with some safer strats here and there. Hate that guy right there. Are you talking about the ones where they grab you and you push them off? Because those are rare, but they happen in this game. You, if you can press the button at the right time, you can actually push an enemy off when they grab you. When I was practicing the, the beginning of this run yesterday after stream, I was getting those a few times. And you can kind of see the animation if it's going to let you. A day four. Feels like forever since I've actually made it this far in a run today. Yeah. Well, you get to make up your own rules, you know. I wish I could use the mouse for this part. And there's no timer, you know, you get to go at your own pace. Obviously, you, you kind of go fast after a while. Like, so I don't know if you guys follow no hit runs, but there's a guy I follow on Twitch named David Tanker, Tunker. I don't know, he's French. I don't know how you pronounce it. Tank, R-E. Anyways, so he was doing, um, hold on. He was doing Dark Souls 3. SL1, which means like level one, uh, no hit runs. And he, you know, when, when I'd watch him like redo it over and over, it was like a speed run in a way. He was doing the same you know, movement and strats and he was going really fast. And then after he'd finished with that, he switched over and started speed running Dark Souls 3. And he actually was like, he got world record at one point and he lost the world record, but he's still like among the top runners on that game. So there is like an overlap in skill, you know, they're very similar speed runs and no hit runs. They're just kind of kind of different. And a lot of speed runners, myself included, who like run a certain game could probably no hit the game too. Like I could probably no hit RE4 if I wanted to. 
just because I've run that game so much, I know it inside and out. At least like the the route that you get through the game. Obviously, like the extra areas, I don't know about at all. But you know what I mean? Like, so it's kind of cool. They're more alike than you think, and yet, all the time you get these uh, speedrunners memeing about no hit runs and stuff. I don't know why. I think it's a cool concept, and a lot of people like watching it. I follow quite a few people who do that stuff. Obviously, like Hob, the most popular one. It's a cool guy you should guys follow. You guys should follow the name uh, Couch Jockey. He does like Dark Souls 3, no hit runs, but he does like different kind. He'll do like sorcery only or pyromancy only or something. It's really fascinating to watch. Like the, the strats you have to come up with and stuff. Because, you know, in speedruns sometimes, like obviously in Claire, you want to take damage from the very beginning. You have to like come up with some cool strats. Some games are better than others for this stuff. Uh, it's already been done on RE4 actually. HGU, the uh, the god of RE4. The guy who had the world record in RE4 when I first picked up the game in 2014. And the guy who's run like I learned the game off of. Back when 1 hour, 40 minutes, 55 seconds I think was his time was the world record. And now it's like one hour and twenty-eight minutes or something, or one twenty-nine. Anyways, <clears throat> he did a no-hit run of RE4 with no checkpoint reloads and no dip man. He did an ethical, honorable no-hit run. I I kind of just skimmed through. I mean, I assume he did it because he said he did it in this video, but I kind of skimmed through five four. But it looked like he would actually stop and like you know snipe a lot of the enemies just to be safe. But like, you have to know which ones to shoot and not shoot, and still have to do a lot of speedrun strats. Like, I don't know how to get through 5-4 without Dead Man, but I'm sure I can learn it. And then you do a lot of speedrun strats. I mean, I've done RE4, like, up to chapter 4, 1, or 4, 2 without getting hit, so it, that's just from speedruns. Sometimes you just have a really good run where nothing hits you. It's kind of crazy to think about how RE4, like, pretty much no... World record on RE4 that I know, or not world record, but like no top time on RE4 is a run where they didn't get hit once. Like everybody takes damage in RE4. I don't know, maybe Pharaoh would know more. Like Pharaoh, have you ever gotten through an entire RE4 run where you didn't get hit by anything? Other than like walking in the fire intentionally? I've never done it. I've run that game a million times. Is this comparable to RE4? Uh, in what ways? How is this on my hands? Pretty good on my hands, actually. This game's chill on my hands. I like uh, a lot about this game. I like um, that I don't have to hold shift to run. I could just tap it and then it toggles it on. I like um, that when there's a cutscene playing, you don't have to rush to skip it because the timer pauses. Like the end game timer pauses. So no like RE4 perfect cutscene skipping, which was annoying, but a skill. And of course you could pause the game anytime to pause the timer if you need to do something, which is nice. And a lot of the movement in this game is just holding W and moving the mouse. Like right now I'm, I'm just holding W and I'm turning the mouse to turn. Because my right hand is the good hand, it's the hand that doesn't have any pro uh, problems. I like it. I mean, I've been streaming seven hours now. I streamed like eight or nine hours yesterday, and like pretty much almost every day I've been streaming and playing a lot. The hands feel fine. Oh, that turn. I think you just do a 180 there or something. Do I have heals? I have a heal, okay. I did already grab that, yes. I'll tell you guys what, when I get a sub one hour or just go insane and give up on this game, I'll consider maybe a different category or something else. Do I need surgery? Nah. I just gotta like not do anything too strenuous. Like speed running RE4. Encore toi?
Yeah, everyone's doing Leon A. Not a lot of Leon B. I think Leon B is going to be harder than Claire B, personally. I'm just thinking about, like, a lot of the parts, how I'd get through them as Leon compared to Claire. Oh, he tried to grab me, but he went the wrong way. What a genius. What a genius. I will not play this at 30 FPS. Gross. I want to play this at like 100 FPS. 100 is like a good number, I think. It's my, my computer feels like it's smoother than 60, but it's also less taxing on my system than like 120 or 144. And I would just like go no knife. Yeah, we could we could try that. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in watching maybe no damage runs, no knife? Frame rates, whatever you want it to be, since no knife. And obviously on a scenario you use the knife to open that box and you just throw it away. It's not a speed run, it'd just be like a challenge run, kinda like what Cars is doing, except all in one sitting, no uh, like reloading saves. Which I think is probably like something he's maybe like working toward. He's starting off at the uh, making the saves and then eventually we'll go to that. Okay, dog's just gonna bark at me. That's cool. Like this right here, you know, this cutscene timer's paused. So nice. That was one thing that really hurt my hands with RE4 is there's no breaks. You know, you're constantly skipping cutscenes. Going from one screen to another loads so fast that so you don't really get to let go of the controller. But here, like, the game throws a lot of breaks at you. Like, right here, there's a cutscene coming up. Maybe we just watch this cutscene. Maybe I take a second, stretch the hands, wiggle the fingers, shake them up. Feels pretty good. And then we keep going. That's nice. Things like that, I appreciate. Yeah, you know, I've been very harsh and negative about uh, this game and the speedruns, and I I do like it, obviously, that's why I'm doing it. I don't mean to, like, just say nothing negative. Chérie, nothing but negative you? things. There is a lot of positive good things, Chérie, also, that, have, that are in this game. And that's one of them right there. Anything that's good for your hands, go, I think, go. is good. A lot of people just, they don't think about this. You're young, you're strong still. You haven't been doing this as long as some other people. You're lucky, I don't know. Your hands are like okay still, so like, you know, you gotta be careful. And people don't realize that. They don't stretch. They don't take breaks. That's what I did. I didn't do any of that stuff. And it screwed up my hands, so. Game of the year contender. I mean, we're in the second month of the year. How can we really say what the game of the year is yet? Games that have been released so far this year, sure, but what has really been released yet? Let's, let's wait. Uh, is Claire A easier than Leon A? I would say Claire A and Leon A are probably similar, but I think Leon B is harder than Claire B. But I don't know. To be fair, Claire can get, like, the best handgun. Yeah, that's fine. There's too many. It sucks, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, those acid rounds are amazing. No. Monster Hunter World came out, yeah, beginning of 2018. But there is an expansion coming out later this year for it. I remember there's also like Sekiro coming out, which a lot of people have really high hopes for. The next uh, game made by the Dark Souls guys. Could be good, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, Claire A is probably easier because she gets the super handgun that does more damage. Because it, oh, the one with the laser sight. Acid round stun Brickin 3. Probably an easier final boss than Leon, I'd say.
Wait, what am I doing? Forgot the password here. No, the laser gun, the thing about it is... Okay, so you know when you look down the crosshairs of your gun, how it um, takes time to like close in, and then when it does, you do more damage? Yeah, that gun's always in that state. So you always get the bonus damage from it. Rather than just like on one shot. Yeah, that minigun is super good. Leon's rocket's pretty good too. Except it's not really used in the fight. It's just how you finish the fight. Okay, I hate this part so much. Ah, screw it. Just get out of there. I got the Magnum rounds to spare. Red Dead Redemption came out last year though, didn't it? I forgot to shoot this guy. I guess it didn't really matter, did it? Well, you get an infinite rocket launcher if you beat the game on some difficulties. Okay, where's Crawley boy? Why is he not getting up this time? I'm confused. Maybe it's the gunshot on the, uh, the G adult that triggers it or something. Hello, yellow shark. Maybe I can play Red Dead Redemption 2 now that I've mastered, uh, the movement in this game, which is the same as that game. Is it really not that good? Is it overrated? I heard like a lot of good things about it. Okay. But now I don't really hear anything about it. But that's most games, honestly. They're only popular for a short amount of time, unless they're like a multiplayer competitive game or something. This is enough ammo. <laughs> oh my god, I can't like turn my mouse during that. That was so weird. I was getting like a major like mouse wouldn't move and then suddenly it would just shoot across the screen. Kind of deal going on there. I wasn't a huge fan of Red Dead 1. I liked a little bit at the beginning and then it just kind of I lost interest in it. It got very repetitive very fast. How long will the RE2 hype last? I'm not, I'm thinking not very long. Unless they come out with a randomizer for this game, like a good randomizer, I don't I don't see it lasting too long. So just like RE7 didn't really last that long. Oh yeah, Devil May Cry 5. How was the demo? Is it still possible to play the demo? If anyone's tried it. And I saw someone streaming the demo, so free DLC. Yeah, I guess.
All right, our DMC fight comes out in three weeks. Yeah, that's probably gonna kill all the hype for this game when that comes out. Unless it's no good. I mean, if you can call this a speed run, then yeah. Is this gonna be PB? I have to finish it first. It's hard to finish this okay, game. Okay, chérie. Me voilà. Yeah, there's a lot of big games coming out this year that I'm looking forward to. I think the biggest one is the Monster Hunter World expansion. Do something. Do something. Oh my god, this guy's trolling me right now. J'ai une petite surprise pour toi. He might actually not get hit by the uh, thing here. So that's rip run. It's gonna be close. Ha ha! In your face. In your face, Birkin. That was close. <laughs> he just would not stop running around. Je suis désolé, chérie. C'est plus long que prévu. That was pretty funny, actually. Oh yeah, the Monster Hunter expansion for PC. I I think it's gonna come out around the same time. I think they they probably think they're gonna be caught up by then. Because I don't want to play Monster Hunter on console. Or rather, I don't want to use a controller anymore. I, I just like the PC controls. They're so nice for my hands. And they're actually pretty good. But then we got DMC, which is DMC5. Right? Super. Le funiculaire. Now, don't get me wrong, I like controllers, but they hurt my hands oh, now to be, like, to use, use a lot. I could use them casually here and there, but, like, to do something regularly like this, it would be too much for my hand. Hello, human. Hello, human. Hello, Hyun Mouth. Je vais te soigner. Tiens bon, chérie. Ça va aller. Chérie. Pour votre sécurité, veuillez attendre l'ouverture complète des portes. Pour votre sécurité, veuillez attendre l'ouverture complète des portes. Pour votre sécurité, veuillez attendre l'ouverture complète des portes. Bienvenue au Nest. All right, don't forget the, the flame ammo this time.
Hey, it's split this time. Progress. Progress. Oh shoot, I can't carry that herb with me. No, I should have deposited it. I have to trash it. I'm pretty sure I have to trash it. Oh, maybe not. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh, that's scary. That's one way of getting rid of the herb. Calculated boys. Haha! I had a heal for him. Yeah, I was gonna shoot him when the door opened, but he was <laughs> at the door. Doctor Lee, le chef would Just that, right? Thank you, Disfiguring the Goddess 1102. Yeah, that guy's a dirty cheater, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, my DA went from max to max. Manipulated it. I've been grabbed like four or five times this run. But I've been grabbing all these safety herbs, so... Yeah, I don't have any now, but then again, the only enemies that I'm going to encounter now are lickers, zombies, but those are all the lickers, but the zombies are not going to do anything to me, and plant boys, and plant boys are either use an item or die. Let's see, 2048. The plant boys have been giving me a lot of trouble today. Where's it? A lot of trouble, like you have no idea. No. Oh my god, my hands can't do it fast. Oh, the Groots, is that what we're calling them? The Groots? Okay, I'm okay with that. No, they're not Groots. Call them Groots. I like that name. Did you see him dodge? What a god. That guy is a god. He deserves a medal. He is amazing. I should aim at the ground. Can I call him Vin Diesel's or is that too uh, obscure? Thank you, Yellow Shark. Maybe I should have burned him there, because I'm going to have to shoot him again anyways. <laughs> I 
What? Welcome to Earth. Don't screw up. Bienvenue, Docteur. Vous avez cinq nouveaux messages. Ouh. Si j'avais su, j'aurais pris ma parka. Parka. All right. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it's split. My splits are working, boys. Holy crap. Monka shake. Oh wait, no, I don't want to use that. I want to use flame rounds here. I get flame rounds uh, in the room with the liquors. Ça, ce que so much for the weed infestation. <laughs> Never stand still, but that's what everyone did in FF12. Oh, look at this RNG. Don't trust this guy anymore. Sometimes I can juke him, sometimes I can't. All right, I got through all the Groots. Clean. Good. Now we just have to not screw up <laughs> on the next part. Whoopsie. Use the thingy. Nice G3. Shouldn't be too bad. Wait, I'm missing a knife. Where's my other knife? Did I deposit my knife or something or did I not grab it from the kitchen? Oh no, I have two knives. Never mind. Never mind. Up 55. Unlikely. Uh, deposit that. Take that. Take that. Take that for safety. Two knives. Perkins gonna be nice, always nice. Uh... Crap, where's the uh, ammo? There it is.
No, I missed. That did not hit me. Okay, go ahead and do the thing where you reveal your back to me. That did not hit me either. Come on, come on, come on. Easiest fight of my life. Easiest boss in the game. <laughs> I screwed up. I missed the Magnum, man. I lost so much time from that. I would have saved another like 20 seconds if I didn't miss that Magnum shot. But hey, it's like... Day one, day two, or whatever of me running this game. Yeah, I have a lot of time to save on the next boss, too. If I don't mess up, it's sub one hour. But I also only have a uh, first aid spray for the upcoming boss fight. Sherry. No, no, I'm sorry. I have two heals for the upcoming boss. Oh, I get hit on this next boss sometimes. <laughs> Believe me, I'll, I'll get hit on this next boss. And then the final boss, the memes with the knife. I might mess up and get one hit. I also don't get the move speed bonus, but I, I, I think it's not a big deal. The auto spider has been working so far. Tu me remercieras quand on sera sorti d'ici. All the knives. That's it, right? Yep. Activate. Four grenades. Am I gonna submit it? Maybe. Oh, 
Don't get up. Here she comes. Move. Bien joué, chérie. Hello, YouTube. Chérie, tu tiens le coup? Je suis derrière toi. Continue comme ça. Je crois qu'on y est presque. Yeah, frame rate doesn't matter on uh, G4 as far as I know. I think the knife is always going to kill the eye in one swipe. Yes, with Harvey. I thought I had uh, all my uh, grenades used. He's gonna climb now. No climb memes. need to grab that. I had plenty. Now don't get grabbed by this guy. This guy's a one hit kill if you mess up. J'espère que t'aimes les balles parce que j'en ai encore un paquet. Bullets? What are bullets? Uh, you need like 200 ammo to kill him with a minigun. I don't have enough. I swear to god, if I lose the run to this, I'm gonna be so... whatever. So indifferent. Time save still. 